fair for a church to cancel a couple's wedding because they post a Facebook status supporting gay marriage, as has happened in Victoria? Well, look, look it, churches are free to marry whoever they like. You know, it's not, I mean, it is, it is, and I, let me just make, this gives me an opportunity to say something about the issue of religious freedom. Uh, as you know, Lucy and I will be voting yes in the postal survey. Now, I, I am a passionate believer in marriage. I believe Australia would be a stronger society if more people were married, if more people were legal, formally or legally married. So I'm, very, I'm a great believer in marriage. And I'll tell you what the threat to marriage is. The threat to marriage is lack of commitment. The threats to marriage are neglect, desertion, you know, adultery and so forth. Now, so I support, and Lucy supports, legalising same-sex marriage because it is fair, but also because it shows commitment. And more commitment is good. Having said that, we absolutely, we say we as a parliament, and I can speak for the whole parliament here because we know that there is a very broad consensus, as the Senate committee uh, that reviewed the uh, exposure draft of the bill last year, uh, there is a very broad consensus in this building to support the protection of religious freedoms. And so, and, and, and if there is a yes uh, majority in the postal survey when it comes back, uh, the bill will include, it'll be a private member's bill, but we know that it will include strong protections for religious freedoms. Australians should not be concerned about that. And, and I just want to add this. The, there was an exposure draft of a same-sex marriage bill published last year, presented by the Attorney General, which protected religious freedoms. Uh, it went to a Senate committee, which considered it. Lots of submissions, lots of discussion. Uh, there was broad consensus about the um, the need to protect religious freedoms. If there is a yes majority in the postal survey, the private member's bill that will be presented will protect religious freedoms, but no doubt it will be debated and amended. We don't have a majority in the Senate, and in any event, it is a free vote. So I, so I'm just, I just want to reassure Australians that, that as strongly as I believe in the, in the right of same-sex couples to marry, and strongly as I believe in that, even more strongly, if you like, do I believe in religious freedom. Religious freedom is fundamental and it will be protected in any bill that emerges from this parliament. You strongly believe in free speech and you've told everyone to go out there and freely say what they think, have their say on this mm. issue. What I'm asking is, is it really reasonable for them to have their wedding cancelled because they've done what the Prime well, Minister look, said they should do? A, a church, a church, look at, churches are entitled to marry or not marry whom they please. That is part of religious freedom. I mean, there are many churches that, that uh, many, well, I mean, including my own church, the Catholic Church, will not marry someone who has been married before. You know, uh, so it is, it is, we're not talking about a religious, uh, you know, we're talking about changing the civil law uh, to recognise the committed relationship of people uh, in this case, who are same-sex couples. Well, I mean, so you spoke question. this morning about John Howard having some sort of input post the uh, to draw yeah. up the legislation. Mm. Can you see some sort of formal role for him to play in in doing that? Well, look, I haven't considered that, but but you know, John's wisdom is is always welcome, particularly from on our side of politics. I think it's welcome. Uh, you know, we, we we welcome it, and if there is a that the issue of religious freedom, as I said, has been carefully considered in the context of this issue. There has been an exposure uh, draft of a bill, it has been considered by a Senate committee. Uh, there is very broad consensus on the need to protect religious freedom. So I don't think there's any, should be any concern about that. But in, in terms of the detail, as John Howard knows very well, of course, because there are many of these votes, free votes issues uh, that were conducted under his uh, time as PM, and what you will get is uh, private members will present a bill that will protect religious freedoms, and there may be an amended amendment here, an amendment there, a debate about this, a debate about that. You know, it'll, assuming it's introduced in the House, it will then go to the Senate. There'll be a similar debate. And I think what this will do, if we have a yes uh, majority in the survey, we will see the Australian Parliament at its best. We will see Australian the Australian Parliament 
working together to protect the, to protect religious freedom, to, to defend the freedom of religion and the freedom of churches and, and so forth and people of faith, and at the same time uh, support the freedom and recognise the freedom of same-sex couples to have their commitment to each other recognised by, by the law as a marriage. Yes.